Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today we're going to talk about the Woofy Link interface. Now this is a magnificent product. I'm seriously wondering why more people aren't screaming about this product. So let's break it down real quick. If you're a QRP operator who loves going out in the field, SOTA or radar, whatever, you're into digital comms and you want to leave that back-breaking laptop at home, you actually need to listen up now. So the Wolfie Link is a plug-and-play interface for Android smartphones. It allows you to connect your Ye Yezu FT817, 897, FT857, as well as ICOM 703 and 706 radios to your Android smartphone or tablet. Now they say that it'll work with other radios, but you'll have to customize the cable. Um, so for you non-ICOM and Yezu users, there is hope to use this interface with your Android device. Now most of the videos I've made about digital comms, uh, man portable with FT817 and an Android device, have been made using the Wolfie Link interface. And to be completely honest with you, I have no idea why I haven't until now made a video about it. Anyway, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. On this side, we have a 6-pin Minidin connector that goes to the data port on your radio. On the other side, we have a 4-pole TRS connector that goes to the mic and speaker input of your smartphone or tablet. Inside, we have transmit and receive pots to adjust the transmit and receive audio levels. As you can see, the rest of the device is relatively simple and straightforward. If I haven't mentioned it, I should also say that this device requires no external power. So why am I making such a big deal about this device? Or maybe a better question is, why is this device so important? Well, unfortunately, many developers don't understand that uh, many operators today are actually going man portable. They're hiking, they're backpacking, they're climbing, they're skiing, and these guys are taking their amateur radio operations with them. A uh, heavy laptop because they want to. No one carries the extra batteries for it because they want to. No one carries a uh, USB audio interface for Windows 7 or Mac OS or whatever because they want to. They do it because they have to. Now there's a choice. Ported radios and you have an Android smartphone in your pocket. Go ahead and order this interface. It's not very expensive and... Uh, on the market these days it's not made in China it's actually made in the United States by a German so it can't be bad <laughs> uh, I've used this application with uh, PSK 31 and 63 uh, RTTY SSTV and I'll be trying weather facts in the coming week first and foremost Wolfie is a software developer so it's kind of difficult to promote the interface without promoting him or Wolfie LLC. With that said, check out the website. There are lots of apps there. Unfortunately, they are paid apps, but I think that's a good thing because the quality of the apps is simply outstanding. Here you go, guys. Let's lock up this video. Audio interface for your Android device, smartphone or tablet. The picture you see on the screen right now is my entire setup. That's it. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys, for all the support. Rock and roll. Ciao.